Hi, Stampin' Friends, it's Charlene from StampinWithCharlene.com. Welcome to the April 2022 card kit in the mail. We are going to be using the Artistic Impressions Suite from the current 2021-22 Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog. Now, the retiring items from that catalog came out on March 23rd, so be sure to grab all of your favorite items before they're gone for good and also check out the sale that's going on for some of those items that you can get at a discount. So for this month, we are going to be using a technique with sponge daubers and I am going to actually demonstrate two cards tonight that are part of the April kit. The first one is this one here where I'm going to show you how you can create this double color image like I did here on the flower. And then I'm going to show you how I came up with all of the colors on this piece here, if you can see that. Be sure to stay until the end so you can see all five cards that are in this kit. And you can participate in the April 2022 card kit in the mail by placing an order of $35 or more from my online store before tax and shipping. Once you place that order, be sure to enter the host code, which I have listed below. And then I will send you free shipping all of the pre-cut paper and embellishments to make 10 cards to each of the five different designs. So let's get started. This is the technique I'm going to show you. If you see the flower here, how it has the different colors and it's one stamp. So let me show you how we're going to do that. We are going to use sponge daubers. Now mine are really dirty, but that doesn't matter. It just means that they're stained. And I do have a sponge dauber for each color ink uh, because these really, you really can't wash them off that well. So uh, let's get started. We're going to take our stamp set. This is the Artistically Ink stamp set, and we're going to start off with the largest flower stamp, which is this one here. And what you're going to do is just take your ink, and for this one, I am using Polished Pink, and I'm going to grab my pink sponge dauber, and you're just going to place the sponge dauber on the ink, soak up some ink, and then tap it all around the outside of the flower and you wanna just leave a little bit in the center. This is really easy to do, but it looks really cool when you're finished. So I'm just tap, tap, tapping. And now all I'm gonna do is take my pale papaya sponge dauber and pick up some ink and then I'm gonna go in the part where I didn't put the pink. And yes, the colors are gonna get on each other, but that's okay. Let's just go for it today, okay? And not worry about it. And then I'm just gonna huff it a little bit and stamp it on my piece of cardstock. And there you go. How easy is that? And then I'm gonna take my die, the coordinating die from this bundle and I'm gonna place it on there, just turn it around until it fits, right like that, and I'm gonna run this through my die cut machine. For the smaller flower, I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna use Mango Melody and Pale Papaya. So the same exact thing, I'm just gonna pick up the ink and do the outside with my Mango Melody, and it's kind of important to make sure you do it under the light because this is a really light color and you wanna just make sure that you can see that you got it all over the outside of the flower. And then I'm gonna come back in here with my Pale Papaya and do the center. And because you're gonna make two cards, you're gonna do four of these smaller flowers. This is the second card, and if you see here, this is one big piece. It's one die, this piece that I have here on the center, but you'll notice that it's all different colors. So what you wanna do is in your packet, if you're participating in the card class in the mail, in your packet, you are going to have two pieces like this. And since you're making two cards, you're gonna do this twice. So first take out this piece of basic white cardstock. Take your die, uh, place it on there and cut this out. You definitely wanna do this on scrap paper. And what we're gonna do now is just take our sponge dauber and this is still 
inks. I'm not gonna ink it again because I don't want it to be too dark. And I am just going to rub it like this on the flower and all of the ink that's left on there is just gonna transfer right onto the paper. And so just make sure that you look and see that you got all of the petals. So that is my polished pink. And then I'm gonna go back in here with my um, pale papaya. I'm gonna do that one in pale papaya. And then this one I think I'm gonna do um, just a little pink and with pale papaya over it and just making sure that I look at the outline. And then for the leaves, I am just going to brush over those with the green that is on, that's left over on the sponge dauber, just like that. Voila. So if you stuck around until the end, this is one of the cards in the April card kit in the mail. And this is the other one. Those are the ones that we did tonight. And then this is a third, very cute, masculine, number four, and number five. Okay, say it with me, so fun and so easy. So let's review the other cards that are part of the April card kit in the mail. We have these two. This one here, this one here, which is a perfect masculine card. And then finally, this one here. So you'll get all of the pre-cut paper and supplies, uh, paper and embellishments for a purchase of $35 or more. Have fun and be sure to send me an email, charlene at stampinwithcharlene.com if you have any questions and to let me know that you would like the kit. Thanks for watching and I will see you in May.